Hi there Taurus, how are you guys doing? I really hope that this video finds you well. Welcome back to the channel, it's me Anissa from the Inner Stereo. This is going to be your love general messages as a general reading so the roles might get reversed or it may or may not resonate with you. And if this reading resonates with you, there's going to be a link down in the description box below for personal reading with me, okay? So as usual, this is going to be a you versus them format. I'm going to be pulling card about your energy and your challenges, past, present, future from both parties, and we're going to clarify them. And I am also going to be pulling some advice card for you by the end of the session, okay? Taurus, there's a lot of push here from the universe about you needing to step out of your comfort zone, okay? And I feel that you've been kind of like quite fearful about it for some times now, okay? I think um, your mindset here needs to change about, actually, there are a lot of good peoples out there. Maybe you haven't been encountering good peoples out there, but there are actually good people out there in the world, and you should not really be afraid about taking chances, about, you know, going out or going out of your comfort zone in order for you to be able to grab your happiness. Your current energy, you have the Four of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and also the Four of Swords in upright position. It's a very safe and precautionary type of energy the way that i'm feeling at this present moment nothing really impresses you um you're kind of like waiting for something that is that will offer you a much more sense of security and stability but it hasn't come just as yet and with the four swords in here you're kind of like you know what i'm going to shut all of my emotions down and i'm not trying not to feel your biggest challenges here is the Emperor and also the King of Swords. You might be dealing with an Aries or you might be dealing with an Aries sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But a lot of these challenges has a lot to do with somebody here who's trying to impose their opinion on you, imposing their demands on you without kind of like considering the fact that you also have demands, that you also have desires, that you also have some sort of wants and you also have needs. Just because somebody never hurt you, somebody never listened to you, somebody never, you never feel, you know, as if like your desires are being met and etc. doesn't necessarily mean that every person that you're going to be meeting in this whole wide world will treat you the same. Just so you know, okay? Because I feel that right now you're very numb. Everything just doesn't impress you much. In the past, Seven of Swords and also the Six of Pentacles in upright position, there was an unequal give and take happening in the past. And, now, and a lot of that has a lot to do with you feeling kind of like, wow, is this person actually taking me seriously or are they not? Are they really being with me for a genuine reason? Or is it because there is another situation that this person is trying to escape? Is this person really being honest with me or does this person have a hidden intention somewhere? A lot of these questions, a lot of these. What happened? <laughs> In the present moment, Eight of Pentacles and also the Sun card. I feel that at this present moment, what you guys are fully working on has a lot to do with your career, with your money, everything that is going to bring about some sort of successes into your life because you think that, you know, if I am successful at at least one other areas of my life other than romance and maybe is going to bring me like a lot of happiness i agree with that i agree with the notion of you having to be independent i agree with the notion of you needing to fully depend your happiness on yourself and etc but to have a very kind of like negative um outlook when it comes to other people or other person that might be interested in you is kind of like a bit it's going to feel a bit lonely in the end okay now in the present moment your person the moon and also the strength in that preposition the questions that you've been asking about them in the past now they're starting to question that themselves does taurus actually love me is taurus hiding something from me where is this connection going is this connection is going to bring me a lot of pain or is it going to bring me a lot of hurt but I feel that at this present moment, this person is not truly communicating with you these um, questions that they might having, the wonders that they might having, because again, I feel that they're just kind of like keeping it to themselves. In the future, you have the fool and you also have the wheel of fortune in that proposition. 
there's going to be a huge opportunity here in the future. We're going to clarify in a moment. But this huge opportunity is going to reset the numbness that you're feeling in the present moment. It's going to be making you feel as if like you're able to trust again, is able to feel alive again, and etc. We're going to clarify this one. It's a wonderful card here. From this person's side, Nine of Swords and also the Page of Swords in that right position. I feel that the questions that they're having in the present moment is still going to um, carry into the future where they're starting to realize that, oh my God, like what am I supposed to be doing differently this time? I feel that this person is going to be learning a lot. Um, it needs some time, you know what I mean? It takes some time to learn something. I'm going to give you an example. I am into tennis very much at this present moment. It takes a while for me to get better, right? And so do they. When it comes to a relationship, when it comes to changing our habit, when it comes to changing our behavior, when it comes to dealing or confronting our fears, when it comes to merging our shadow side with our light side, it takes some time, okay? They're going through it in the future. So let's clarify your reading now. I want to clarify this moon card in this present moment from this first insight. Nine of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and also the Seven of Wands in upright position. They're now wondering, because I feel that in the past you've been okay with them being, you know, hyper-independent. You've been okay with them being, um, focusing on their work a lot rather than you. You've been okay with all of that stuff, but now why suddenly you're not okay? Why? So those are where the wonder starts to come out. Why is it that Taurus now is not okay with the things that they were okay with in the past? Why is it that suddenly I feel that everything that I do is just wrong in Taurus' eyes? Okay, let's clarify the Eight of Pentacles from your side here in the present moment. You have this rebellious streak right now. Could be that Uranus, but it has been sitting in your sign for quite a while now. But it's more about you don't want to be dominated one more time. You don't want to live under anyone's rule. You don't want to live for the sake of other people. There's something about, wait, 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 why is it always about other people? Why is it always about them, what they want, what they desire, what they need? When is it going to be the time for my need, my desire, my time to shine? So this is what, you're being a bit rebellious here. Like wanting to rebel again, the oppression <laughs> that you guys have been in. Wait a second, I think my cat's going to try. All right, sorry for the cat thing. <laughs> but anyway, she's in heat now. I haven't neutered her. So yeah, kind of like giving me quite of a headache. So the strength card clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, the lovers, and also the Knight of Wands in that preposition. Remember what I said about these changes that they didn't really expect from you and they're starting to wonder like, what is going on with Taurus? Is it because Taurus has found somebody else? That's why they're get getting... Kind of like quite irritated with everything that i am doing but there is also this kind of like belief about you know this is just an episode for taurus eventually things are going to go back to the love that was to the connection that was yeah but i just don't feel that you want that connection that was you want a connection that will or that is no that will i i think you kind of like raise your standard here and they're not following along and you're getting very like stern about the fact that nope i don't want the connection that was which is what this person is expecting it to return to in the present moment now the sun from your side clarified by the page of ones the two of cups and also the three of cups in upright position it's nice to hear you kind of like it's although you don't like some part about them but there's also a part of you who's like I kind of like wants to hear it. I love our interactions. I love our routines. I just want to hear something from them. Now, if you're single and ready to mingle, <laughs> um, there is a high possibility of you actually finding somebody new at this present moment. But this person would be a bit 
cautious with you because they feel that you're not really taking this a bit seriously and they're a bit cautious with you because they're still kind of like assuming okay is Taurus also dealing with another person as well or is it just me so it's still on that cautious side let's pull some future card here let's clarify the future so I want to clarify this full card from your side first in the future four cups beautiful beautiful Taurus this numbness that you're feeling because I know how it feels to be just numb because oh everything is just so stressful and th there's going to be a point in time where you're just like zing you're just numb you're like you can't feel thing like you would even wonder to yourself like why can't I feel anything it's like you're flying you're not grounded Taurus are usually very grounded but anyway, um, the full card, clarified by the Four of Cups, Ace of Cups, the Moon, and also the Eight of Wands. I feel that the cycle of the Moon is going to be very, very helpful for you to start feeling alive again. Um, it's not going to take very long because I feel that at this present moment, um, you're just going to be focusing a lot more on your healing. You're just going to be focusing a lot more on your own emotional fulfillment. And there will come a time, Taurus, there will come a time, don't worry, where you start feeling alive again, where you start feeling as if like, you know, I am ready to get out of my comfort zone and show us something that is new. I am ready to communicate to the world about what is it that I would like to have. There's going to be this glow up of energy of like that shifting of energy is like, okay, now I'm a changed person. Now I get to feel alive again. Now I am going to be doing differently again. There's that courage of you actually going into a new directions here. Like even if you're still with them, what I meant by new directions is the way that you think, the way that you act, the way that you speak is going to be a bit different. If you are usually very timid about something that you're no longer going to be timid, there's going to be that courage of you pursuing something that is new in your life okay let's clarify the nine of swords from their side in the future but these changes even in the present moment this person is like hurt right these changes, eventually, they will accept. Okay, Ten of Swords is indeed a card of acceptance, right? Like, yeah, it's painful, but it's the end of it. And it's either you want to stay in the energy of a Ten of Swords or you want to go to one, which is the starting of something new. And it will take some time for them to deal with the fact that things may not be as it used to in the past. It will never be because you wouldn't, you don't want it to be. And they're starting to going to get a bit more vulnerable and try to look within about, is it, is it really something that is fair? Is it something that is beneficial for me? Is it something that I need to do? Should I really listen to Taurus? Scarfather's page of swords in that preposition from their side. Ha! There you have it, Taurus. Scarfather Wheel of Fortune. As I mentioned earlier, right? Like when you. Okay, I'm going to give you an example, okay? This is a stupid example, but bear with me, because, yeah. Um, I just started playing tennis for six months now. I used to be a badminton, and I was a junior athlete when I was playing badminton. So there are certain things from badminton that I still carry to tennis. To let go of old habits, especially some muscle memory, to let go of that and trying to learn something new is going to take a process. And this is you too. So it's normal for you to feel as if like, okay, oh no, I am spiraling down again. Oh no, I am being like my old self again. It's normal for you to have that. It's normal. Just don't be hard on yourself when you do that. As long as you're learning, as long as you're committed for changes, as long as you're committed for changes that is for the betterment of you, you are going somewhere. You're making a progress, okay? Now, I feel that in the future, you're going to have 
an offer here. As you become brave, so is the other person. Just want to clarify. No, it's your past person. It is your past person. I thought it was someone new, but it is your past person. I feel that when it comes to someone new, it's difficult because connection-wise, you're still very much connected to this person. So I feel that if you're dealing with someone new, what you're going to be doing is that you're just going to take it slow. Let's see where this goes. But I know myself that what I am aiming for is the higher thing. What I'm aiming for is like a long-term relationship, a traditional kind of relationship where both people are actually standing on an equal ground. No more someone trying, no more someone is on a higher position than me. You see the differences between the emperor and also the hierophant? The emperor stood in his own crown. This is the energy that you're used to dealing with. What you want here is something different. You have two people kneeling on the same level. This is what you want. It's simple. This is what you want. Now, when it comes to your past person, they're going to be learning a lot. So the changes in you makes them learn. The more that you're persistent and you're consistent with the changes that you would like to have, the more that they're starting to look at themselves in the mirror and be like, okay, is it really something good that Chorus is bringing? Well, again, it's something good. And they will follow. Everywhere you go, I'll follow you down. They'll follow. We'll see that courage of them finally giving to you what you want to give it to them. This is what you're expecting, right, Taurus? Right now, you are being unimpressed, unimpressed, trying to numb your emotions down. You know exactly what you want, but it's not coming. There is always this delay. Why is it never coming to me? There you go. In the future, it is happening. Finally connected to the divine. Finally getting that wish fulfillment. But it has to start from you. Okay? It has to start from you establishing boundaries. It has to start from you wanting to have something that is more of an equal thing. It has to come from you rebelling against the oppression that you might feel. It has to come from you. Let's pull some advice here for you here, Taurus. Queen of Swords. Empress. Knight of Cups in upper position, yeah? This is you, right? You're now the Queen of Swords. You're shutting all of your emotions down. Everything is all about safety right now. I know how it feels to live in this state, but it's not natural for you. You're an earth sign. This is an air sign card. It's natural for an air sign to think, to not be so grounded. Now, I know because I have like a lot of air signs in my life. It's natural for them, but it's not natural for you. I think what you need to start be doing here, Taurus, is to get some of your old self back. But this time is different because now you're the empress who knows her worth. You're the empress who knows their value. An empress will never fall for a page of wands. What? Can you imagine an empress, a queen, in some kingdom out there, and they fall for a page of wands? Like, what? <laughs> fall in love with a page of wands, landing a page of wands, break her heart. What? No. It's okay for you to be your old loving self. It's okay for you to get back to your feminine energy, regardless of your gender. It's okay. It's okay for you to give love to everybody again. It's okay. As long as you know who you're worth and as long as you are picky with whom you give it to. <sighs> One of these days, once you start feeling something again, when you're not as numb as you are, you would cry. I'm not saying this to make you scared, no. I just feel that there's something here that you're running away from when it comes to your emotion and you try not to feel it to a point where everything just feels so numb to you. One day you're going to go back here to your old self. You would feel it and you would probably cry. And it's healthy to cry. 
someone who can fully cry, can fully love, it means that you can fully love. Okay? What do you do when you find somebody who is not worthy of your cups of love? You drink it yourself. Try to start thinking yourself as an empress. I'm an empress. I am an empress in a kingdom. I am going to be very picky about what type of people will I give my cups to? Will I give my love to? Will I give my affection to? Compassion to? All right. So I think that is it for my reading for you here, Taurus. I hope that you find tons and tons of clarity that you've been looking for. And I hope you have a really great week ahead. All right, bye-bye, guys. Have a great day. I love you.